welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new today i am giving you a poundland haul i have bits and bobs in here that i want to show you um quite a lot this time but a lot of like random things so yeah i think i'm just gonna pull everything out random i'll try and make some order of it <laughs> i try and do these poundland hauls every single month um so if you love them give them a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new but yeah let's get showing you what i bought from Poundland. Right, I'm just gonna start off with like the boring things. Vitamin D. I have quite a few of these. I don't think I can get them all out. Oh, yeah. I do have another one. I have three. No. Yeah, I've got two. Um, basically, I have a vitamin D deficiency. Um, and now the NHS has changed where you have to, have to buy your own um, any vitamins. So if you're deficient in a vitamin, you have to buy it. <laughs> the only thing they don't is B12, and that's because they give you an injection. So uh, yeah, I have injection of B12. I am deficient in vitamin D, so I take two of these a day. But recently I have been taking three because I have fibro and my joints have been funny and I got advised to start taking three and see if it helps. And it has been helping. So yeah, Vitamin D, they're a lot cheaper in Poundland, they're a pound each, better than like going to Tesco's and three pounds or three for an actual this. And I need, and these are 60. So this will last me, well, before it would last me a month, because obviously I take two a day. Um, but yeah, I take three now, so less than a month, so that's why I've got two. I have got some more vitamins, if I can find them. I've got some more vitamins, um, which is the folic acid, because, again, yeah, I'm deficient in folate. Um, got a pregnant woman on there, but I'm not pregnant. I just, yeah, so I take folic acid every day as well. But yeah, I should have got iron, actually. <laughs> just found out recently that I'm deficient in iron. So I've now got a B12 deficiency, which is anemia. B12 anemia, fol folate anemia. <laughs> Then the normal anemia, which is in iron, and then vitamin D. So my body does not like absorbing things properly. For some strange reason. So then I've got some, I'm trying to go for more like toiletries first. Vaseline. <laughs> um, basically I need to use it with both children. Um, my daughter suffers a lot from nosebleeds. And basically I thought I had to keep it dry to stop the nosebleeds, but actually, you know, because if anything, it's like when you graze yourself and obviously it clots and stops, stops bleeding, you then have to keep it dry to make sure it heals. I thought it'd be the same with your nose, but actually it isn't, because she says the more dry it gets, the more of a chance of catching it and then it's starting all over again. So she wants me to keep my daughter's nose con like constantly moist. So I've got cream for her that I have to use around two weeks when she has a nosebleed. And then within that time, which usually she has one at least every week, so. But then within that time, I have to use Vaseline. And I have to also use this with Andrew, because he has eczema in his ears. It's some type of, yeah. So basically he gets um, scalps, um, scalps? He gets scabs in his ears, and then sometimes they peel off and go to his eardrum, and then he can't hear, and yeah. So basically he's the same. He's got to keep his ears moist. Um, so he has a spray if they get really bad but then in the meantime I have to use Vaseline so like if he goes in the bath and things he can't get his ears wet um, but we have to use Vaseline and kind of going with that is cotton wool buds um, yeah cotton balls just so I can like split them in half put some Vaseline on it and put them in his ears like I said when he's in the bath and things like that I've got a lot of toiletries this time <laughs> also got some Colgate toothpaste all this was a pound by the way I don't think I spent any like got anything that was more than a pound um yeah Andrew's running out of toothpaste and he seems to like this one he's getting used to the minty flavor now um but yeah I got this Ava can use that as well but she won't because she cannot stand mint taste she has to have a flavored toothpaste like strawberry flavored also got some cotton buds um because we've run out so I've grabbed a few of oh I grabbed a pack of those also got some body wash because we're running low on it um, and I want to try the magic unicorn because everywhere it seems quite expensive but for some reason it was a pound but then I also went to home and afterwards and it's pretty much the same price in there and it smells so nice 
so nice. Uh, I'm gonna go on to the, um, the next load of things. We've got quite a few off to be honest. I think there's more in the bag. Um, I got colouring books and fun things like that. Um, the first things I got was basically we're going to Disneyland very very soon and we are driving there um, and I want something to entertain the kids in the car not just obviously the iPads because the iPads won't last it's a seven hour journey um, in total and that's driving so that's not including stopping so it's going to probably be between seven and ten hour journey um, to get there um, and even though they'll probably sleep the first couple of hours because we have to leave ridiculously early in the morning I wanted to get them some bits to entertain them in the car. They've got these little seat things that go over the car seats so they can colour and stuff like that. But I also bought them a colouring book each. Um, yeah, it's one of those, it's called my copy and draw book. So you just copy the picture and colour it in, basically. And I got both of them, one of those, so we can take them to Disney. Um, to go with that, I also got them some felt tips. I know we've already got a load, but I thought because these come in a box, we've had we, we have had these before and they're really good. Um, I just thought I could put them in a box and put them in the car. So we can have a bag in the car, just full of like their entertainment stuff. So I've got that. For Andrew as well, because I didn't obviously it is we are going during the school time, even though we will be taking his schoolwork with him and his homework. Um, I did want to give him some kind of like learning stuff. Um, and this is Key Stage 2, 7 plus, Multiplication and Division. He absolutely loves maths. Oh, that's really cool. When you finish a page, there's like a little certificate on the front and every time you finish a page, you put a star sticker on it. Um, yeah, so it has a lot of like multiplications and yeah, multiplying by 1 and 2, multiplying by 3 and 4. So Andrew will be able to do that, and there's loads in there, and he absolutely loves maths, like I said. Um, so yeah, he can do that on the way to Disney as well. I've got Ava one, but I think it's in this bag. Yeah. I don't know how she's going to be with these. I was hoping, because I got Andrew one a few years back when he was a similar age, where it was like a white bone marker, and you, you write letters, and then you can rub it out. But this one is basically, it's age 5 plus. Um, key stage one, she's not in key stage one just yet, she is only four, um, she's almost four, she's five in March but she's not in year one yet, she is in nursery still but I thought she could still do this one quite easily because she is starting to write, well she's writing letters anyway and Andrew will probably be able to help with it as well, it's just kind of like you go over the letter there and then you just write down and copy the rest of the letter but the main ones that I quite like is this one here so you basically go over she probably won't be able to write the word but she can go over it um, she can copy her name and copy some words so hopefully that will help because she doesn't have homework she only has reading and I can't really read with her in the car so I wanted her to do something kind of like educational as well on the way there um, then I got a few bits for Christmas um, these are basically for our Elf. We have an um, Eddie the Elf that comes, well, it's the first time last year, so hopefully it comes this year, but I bought him a few things that he can give to the kids later on, obviously in December. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd get them now. Um, I've got these, which are Christmas funny faces. I thought these would be really funny, because I think Ava would love these. You basically have stickers of loads of different faces. Um, when we decorated our pumpkins, we put stickers on our pumpkins. So I thought it's very similar that you just kind of like grab the set and then you pick what face you want and you put it on. Um, oh, give them a happy face. Obviously, Ava won't be able to read, so it, she won't be able to know what face to give them. But she can just pick and put their faces on. Um, yeah, I thought it'd be really fun for them. So I've got two of these, um, so both Andrew and Ava can have them. I also got some Christmas activity books. Um, they get some, they get a dot to dot, um, an activity book, some crayons, some stickers, and a colouring book. So I thought these would be good, obviously, more than likely in a Christmas Eve box um, for them. It's kind of like do on Christmas Eve. I have got a few more bits like that. We've got these. Well, we had these last year that the Elf brought as well, so I thought I'd get them again this year so the Elf can bring them again. But they're his different ones. We got the Santa ones last time. These were 
Um, I don't know if it was a full body, I think it was a head, I'm not too sure. But it's make your own cards and you love them. And it's 10 in a pack and I got three packs. This year there was four, last time I got them there was only three. But um, yeah, got some Santa ones. Some penguin ones. I don't know if we've got the penguin ones. Oh no, we. I don't know. Maybe we've got a snowman, a reindeer, and Santa. That's what we got last year. So we've got Santa again this year, a penguin, and this one is my favourite because I just think it's so cute. And then we've got an elf one, which obviously they didn't have um, last year. So yeah, we've got three of those. Um, oh, and another activity I thought the elf could bring them which is a builder and snowman because in modern life it won't be snowing um, but I thought you could ask them to build a snowman it's a shame that they only have pink hats because Andrew probably wouldn't like the fact that his snowman is going to be wearing a pink hat but never mind, there's, I've got two of these you can also have one that is similar but it's make a Santa because um, that's one I originally picked up but I wanted them to build a snowman it looked like a snowman Santa but um, yeah, I've got two of them little snowmen and they're pound each again. Um, I think this whole bag is just with food, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't get that, well, I say I didn't get that much, but I kind of did get a lot of food. Um, fruit winders, they're my son's favourite. Um, always have to grab a box, especially because they're one pound in there. They're also one pound in Home Bargains and B&M as well, which is really good, but everywhere else like one pound fifty. And you get five, so I've got um, just the one of those. Um, if you saw my last Powerline haul, I absolutely love getting them strawberry flakes because both of my kids absolutely love them and they sometimes prefer dry fruit instead of fresh fruit and I like really like it to pop it in their lunch boxes if we don't have any fresh fruit left or to give them a fresh fruit and a dry fruit as well. But unfortunately they didn't have any, like nothing. They didn't even have the strawberry yoghurt ones which I was going to get if they didn't have. Um, so I got some normal raisins because we are running low on those. And then I've got these sunny fruits, um, the dry fruit stacks. There is juicy raisins and sultanas, juicy raisins and apricots, and juicy raisins and apples. Um, so I thought I'd, I was not going to buy raisins, I was going to buy these instead, but I thought if they don't like these, obviously they've got mostly raisins in there, which is like some extras. Um, yeah, I got these for them to try. They might not even be able to tell the difference that they're not actually raisins. Well, they are raisins, but you might not tell they've got something else in there too. But I have a feeling they'll probably like the apple ones because they love apples. Right, um, wagon wheels. <laughs> I've absolutely been loving these. These are kind of like one of my childhood favourites. And when I go food shopping to Aldi, um, I find that they start doing these. I've been buying a packet every time, pretty much. But then I saw these ones and yeah, there's basically eight in here. There is eight in here and usually I buy a pack of like four, three, something like that. I buy four, no, I think it's four. So yeah, this is eight in here. Um, but yeah, I've got those as well. Then I got some Mowam strips. Um, my kids are obsessed with these um, I love them. I'm, I love the cherry. Cherry's my favorite one. And then it'd be cola, but um, Andrew, loves the cola one and Ava loves the, uh, the raspberry I think just because it's pink but yeah I got them some mounds as well because they are obsessed with mounds um, and then I got these happy hippos these are gorgeous <laughs> I absolutely love buenos um, yeah um, they're like one of my favourite chocolates and these hippos taste just like them but I'd probably say they are better um, so yeah, I got some of these. These are the chocolates I've got to be very careful with. So we don't always buy them. It's one of those, if I eat one, I then won't eat the whole pack. So I'll probably just not eat any of them so the kids can have them. <laughs> but there's five in that pack. Then I got one of my favorite, like, big bags of chocolate, the Minix. Um, which are these caramel nibbles. I absolutely love these. Anything to do with, like, caramel. I am loving. <laughs> so at the minute these have been like my favourite bag of chocolates to buy. So yeah, I got some of those for me and the kids to share later. And then the last one I got is Pepsi Max Cherry. I only got two this time. Um, I got them, <laughs> got them in the last panel of my haul. If you don't know, I absolutely love Pepsi Max Cherry. I try not to drink too much because if I've got the Pepsi Max Cherry in, I will literally drink that all day and I won't drink any other water or dilute or anything like that and so drinking just fizzy pop isn't that good for you. But 
But um, what I've been doing now is making sure I down like a load of water in the morning <laughs> to make up for it. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love these. It's two for a pound. So yeah, I've got two of these as well. That is everything I got from this Powerland haul. It's a bit crazy. I was really hoping they'd have more Christmas things in. Um, but like some like Elf on the Shelf things and yeah, they do have some Christmas things and they do have the aisle of Christmas stuff. Um, but they didn't have any tinsel. They only had like gold tinsel. You know like how they have the coloured themes. They only had that. I wanted some pink and blue ones for the kids' rooms. Um, I might have to do another haul soon though, probably in December. Um, just to grab some, hopefully they have more ornaments in because my kids love the ornaments from there. Um, and they're so cute. So Andrew's tree that he has for Christmas is just full of crazy things like buses and post boxes, just like the random ones, donuts. And then Eva's is more girly where it's like butterflies and princesses and stuff like that. So hopefully they have like unicorn and ballerinas and that type of thing that I can use on Eva's. So yeah, I think I'm going to have to do one, but in December, definitely. Um, probably not close to Christmas before that, because we'll be buying lots of Christmas decorations from there, because they're amazing. But that's what I got this time from Powerland. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. I'm a mum of two, to Andrew and Ava. Andrew is seven and Ava is four. And I upload loads of different types of videos. It could be motherhood, lifestyle, fashion, beauty, hauls, hacks, cleaning, lots of different things. So if it's something you're interested in watching, don't forget to subscribe. I hope you have an amazing rest of the day and I will see you soon.